Hi everyone, Arjunal Page, and this page is starting with this <laughs> paper bag. I got something in it, and I really liked the design and this gold accent. So I'm planning on using it on part of the page here, but before I'm uh, doing anything with this, I want to prepare something for this side of the page. I want this torn something like that, not sure if it would be in the middle or third of the page. So I'm just going to do something here. I'm going to start by uh, stenciling and I've got this yellow gold acrylic paint by a deco art which I'm going to put some here and I had a stencil where did it go oh my god I'm s I had it <laughs> here it is okay <laughs> so I've got this stencil and I've picked it just because it's a little bit corresponds with the design I there is on this uh, paper bag so I've got this I'm going to take a makeup sponge and just start stenciling on this side of the page now this is a really runny acrylic paint so I need to be careful now I know uh, it's really a uh, subtle it's not a, a great gold paint but I hope it will work for me because I don't want it to overwhelm my page I just want some accent of it some pattern on this side I don't want it to compete with the other design I will have from the paper bag so that's why I picked this a uh, specific acrylic paint I knew it wasn't great but I'm using it to my advantage <laughs> so I'm just as you can see just trying to be quick about it I'm doing like two-thirds of the page with this stencil because I'm not really sure yet uh, where the paper bag will go so I'm just making sure I have nice coverage and I'm just going to continue stenciling it uh, right here and I'm not sure even that I will try to match it just stencil it as is so I'm going to continue doing this and then I'll come back Okay, finished stenciling and it's dry. Now I want to add some color. I've picked several things. I want some uh, olive green here, not my usual <laughs> go-to uh, color, but that's what I've decided on. And I've picked several things that will work. I've got a gelato here uh, with a nice color. I've got some of my homemade sprays that I make from gel food coloring and water. And I've got some art, uh, deco art acrylic paint. I really don't care whatever will uh, fit the bill in terms of color. So I want some darker color here and I'm going to start with this and I'm going to put it here and I want to add a lot of water to it because I don't want it to be opaque and cover what I've done here. I want some well watercolor effect for that matter maybe I will uh, use watercolors we'll see so I'm adding a lot of water right now and going very gently like so My page is not gessoed, so the uh, paint just seeps into the paper right away. So I'm just keep, 
I keep adding until I'm satisfied with the color again. I want it uh, translucent, not opaque, but and to not cover what I've done with the stenciling. So I really like it. And let's see, I think I've got some olive green here. Maybe it will work. I don't know. No, don't like it. Let's see. Maybe here. Just dipping in. Okay. That's better. I was a uh, I wanted this part to be darker. Maybe I will add more color when I'm finished. I wanted it to go from darker to lighter. We'll see what happens. Also, as it uh, seeps into the paper, it uh, loses a little bit of uh, the vibrance of the color. I'm going to try and add very gently from this dark green, which is not an olive green, but I still want to darken this area. So I'm trying to be very gentle about it I also wanted to blend I am not I don't want um, harsh lines in between so I'm just trying to be quick about it so I can blend them together before they are settling completely into the paper okay you can use whatever uh, you have that is water reactive so let's see maybe we'll use this gelato so I'm putting it here and again, I'm going to activate it with water. Okay, that works. I just need to work on how it transforms from this color to this one without having a harsh line, but I'm getting there. <laughs> so I'm overlapping in the hopes that I will have nice blending in between. Something like that, and again in dipping into this one. Okay, I think now I've eliminated the harsh lines. Of course, now I need to uh, wait for everything to dry to see what I got, and maybe add a little bit more here just to intensify the color okay I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back and I'm back this is dry and you can even see some of the gold through uh, this uh, color now I've got the paper bag that I'm just gonna try and open up so I will have something nice to play with and I also need some straight line that will go here so I'm just eyeballing it ok 
Okay. Now, scrunching it up. <laughs> I want wrinkle. I want texture. Of course, you don't have to do something like that if you don't like. And let's see. Okay. So basically, I want to uh, glue it here. And I want to tear uh, this paper. And I don't want it to be a, a straight line. And I don't, I think. Yeah, I don't want it to be in the middle. I uh, don't really like symmetrical stuff, usually. <laughs> so I'm going to go. Mm, it doesn't tear very well. Okay, now it's better. A little bit. Okay. We've got success, and I think I'm just going to glue this down like so, maybe. Yeah, like this. So, because it's really a thin paper, I'm just going to use some... Uh, oopsie. Okay, next one. So, I'm just going to use a glue stick. But I'm going to put it generously here. Okay. I'm going to trim the excess later. Right now it doesn't matter. Just making sure everything is in place missed the spot okay we've got it so uh, I don't much like the white here I'm thinking uh, I was going for gold, but now I'm thinking maybe I need to make it more stand out. This, uh, let's see, I've got some. This is just a regular felt pen, and I'm thinking I'm just going like this. And in several places, I still have glue. So I, I am famous for ruining all kinds of markers when I'm not a <laughs> patient with glue and paint. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. Moving on to my focal point. I want a, a dragonfly, something like this. Yeah. And let's see. So... I want it to really stand out, so I'm going to take this black Bristol paper and I'm going to stencil this dragonfly. This is one of my stencils that I made. And I have this um, olive uh, green uh, metallic paint that I'm going to use for stenciling and where did I put my palette whatever I'm going to put it here <laughs> going with the flow okay taking the makeup brush makeup sponge oh my god and just starting to stencil I will probably need two layers to make it pop on the black you need um, a heavy acrylic paint to make metallics really stand out
I'm just going over areas that need more paint with it and trying not to let it bleed underneath but because it's on black I can always fix it with the permanent black marker when it's uh, dry so I'm not really concerned about it okay I'm going to let this dry and here I'm gonna let this dry as you can see some bled uh, uh, through but I will fix it I'm going to let this dry this dry and then we'll continue I'll be back I'm back I've got my dragonfly and I've uh, cut the excess finished going over here over the white and I was going to place a, my a dragonfly here but something still feels like something is missing so I decided to add some circle a, around my bud, a dragonfly and I'm taking these two a, circles as a guideline I these are templates that I always use and they fit my page so I'm going to start with this one and I've got this a uh, sunshine color in uh, art deco putting a little bit here and taking I think it's a uh, called a stylus I'm not sure <laughs> and I hope of uh, making dots around this circle I'm eyeballing it and I'm planning on uh, using this orange this is rust with the bigger circle I have of course I will need to wait for this to dry before I place the larger one but you get what I'm doing I hope it will uh, give my dragonfly some frame and interest to the background so I'm just going to continue doing this until I'm uh, finished and satisfied with the outcome and because it's boring to watch me <laughs> do dots I'll switch off and I'll be back okay so I finished with the yellow dots moved on to the orange dots and I haven't used the other a uh, circle I just eyeballed it and placed the dot in between two uh, yellow ones and now I've uh, taken a uh, the leftover a uh, dark olive green paint I have here and again I'm just eyeballing it and putting dots in between and a little bit far uh, outside the orange dots just to tie everything in and once this is finished I'm just I think I just going to glue the dragonfly and call it a day <laughs> we'll see of course once it's finished I can decide that it's not finished and then add something more we'll see so I'm going to continue with this uh, dots and I'll be back I'm back so finished with the dots I hope they are all dry I'm going to be very careful uh, when gluing uh, this uh, dragonfly I have it is even in the back I'm thinking it will go here like so and I'm very gentle here just if the paint is there is still wet paint inside the dots 
yeah and basically this is it I just want to add a saying I've got this one I've stamped it with I had a Momento Olive a Grove ink pad so just finishing this page with this Here we go so life is a journey what we should care about is not where it's headed but what we see and how we feel that's it that's my page i hope you liked it and i hope you try your hand at it or find some interesting paper bags to use in your art thank you for watching and thank you for uh, leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now